It's my feel good breakfast show. All right, and then welcome back to your Feel Good Breakfast show on this Tuesday morning. It is a Tuesday and it's hashtag Travel Tuesday all up in their interwebs because people are looking for travel inspiration. I know, and you know what? One person that always brings us travel inspiration is Josie Evely as she travels all around the country looking for things local and oh so lekker. Our favorite point of the show, it's a Travel Tuesday. And this morning, we're back with an old friend of Expresso, Josie Evely, has been jetting around the globe, as always. Um, and, she, of course, she's a writer, she's a digital influencer, and, of course, she loves her own backyard. Today, she is here to talk about one of her adventures, her journeys, through none other than Robertson. Indeed. Um, you know, you've gone everywhere, it feels like. Is there, is there a country or continent you haven't visited? There's still a few <laughs> on the bucket list. I find sneaky ways. Um, but what I love is that you also take the time to explore South Africa, to explore literally our own backyard. Yeah. And I've heard very good things about Robertson from the, the people perspective. Yeah. What is it about this place that grabbed your attention, stole your heart? Do you know what? I haven't been to Robertson in so long. And I recently visited as part of a sort of a bit of a media stay. And I was just blown away that it's two hours drive for us. Yeah. And I'm like, why am I not going there every single weekend? The hospitality is so warm and genuine and everything that we love South Africa for. Um, and then there's little pockets of secret hidden gems, which I think, you know, nowadays in South Africa, all of the, the go-to places have been found by yeah. tourists and, and by us, and that's great. But it's hard to get in, and this is two hours away, and there are little pockets of perfect around every corner, and people that are just super excited to tell you their story, to invite you around for a glass of wine. It really is that. It's that care. I love that. Has hashtag pockets of perfect. <laughs> Um, I was going to say, but you said it. Basically, what you mean is there's good wine in the it's area. Great, it's great wine. What do you go? We stayed the whole weekend. Um, that's a big thing, is that there's a lot of different wine farms that are doing something slightly different there. I had one of my best wine experiences to date in my South African travel history mm -hmm. um, at a farm called De Vetov. Um, Which is pretty well known, yeah. Yeah, that, obviously, we did the Art of Sobrage. They're making incredible Chardonnay. And then there's a really awesome place... Um, I did a few posts about it where you do an underground cellar experience. So you do a wine tasting that is lit by candles in one of the original sort of tanks that was used, the concrete tanks oh, wow. back hundreds of years ago. And it's things like that that you sort of leave and you go, geez, that was, that's a proper travel memory. And for you to say that you're doing things that you haven't done before, experienced yeah. before, is saying quite a lot. Um, for the, the novice traveller, if that's even a term, how should we approach it? Where should we stay? How should we attack Robertson from a traveller's perspective? Okay, so a few of the things that I re really recommend that you, you've got to do is um, De Vethoff. Uh, Velta Freda is where that uh, underground experience is, and that's my number one pick. Um, there's also a boat ferry tour that you can do, wine tasting, obviously, on the little river, which is awesome to do. And nice landscape there is pretty epic. Yeah, yeah, and that's really family-friendly. So instead of it being sort of um, boozy weekend for mom and dad, <laughs> there's something for the kids as well. Um, and then a place to stay is a little gem that I found called Mo and Rose. And it's a cactus garden heaven. You don't feel like you're anywhere else on this earth. And there's cactuses that have been there for sort of two, three hundred years. And it's this garden that sort of feels like something out of Alice in Wonderland. And you stay in these awesome little chalets on site. So that's a, a must for staying. And then I think the best best sort of way to do it is not to have too many plans, to have a sort of a hit list, get in your car, everything is within sort of one route and driving distance, and just stop, chat to the locals, ask them where, where they're hanging out. One of the best things I found while I was there is there's this, there's this place called Bermint, and it's on the main road. And there's this lady who used to sort of make wine for all the other top brands that we know and love. And now she's done her own thing. And all she does is cook sisters, fat cook, and um, wine pairings. And it's like in her garage. And you feel like a local. You leave having all the mates in the world in Robertson, and it's a really nice feeling. Oh, I absolutely love that. But don't even bother doing anything else. Just go straight <laughs> there. there. Fat, fat cook and uh, wine. Um, I absolutely love that. At where Josie goes is where you can catch up on all of these incredible adventures. Thank you for um, highlighting a South African gem. Awesome. Um, as much as we love your international travels, it's so cool to see you giving back to a community that gives us so much. Guys, remember, if you're in the Cape, this is just two hours away. If you're not in the Cape, it's worth a flight down here and experience probably some of the best that the Cape has to offer. It's not just about sunny seaside escapes. Maybe during those cold winter months you can cozy up next to a beautiful fire and as always a gorgeous glass of wine.